Hi everyone, this is Math 6, Lesson 2-1, Understand Integers. In this lesson, we'll be able to use positive and negative integers. Let's start with explain it. Sal recorded the outdoor temperature as negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit at 7.30 a.m. At noon, it was 22 degrees Fahrenheit. She said the temperature changed by 18 degrees Fahrenheit because 22 minus 4 equals 18. So, um, is Sal right or wrong? Explain. So let's see what really happened, right? So she recorded outside temperature as negative 4. Um, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4 is right here at 7.30 a.m. And then at noon, it was 22 degrees Fahrenheit. And so, sorry, it's not straight. Um, if 22 degrees Fahrenheit is here, that's at noon, 12 p.m. And she said the temperature changed by 18 degrees because 22 minus 4 is 18. Is that true? How much change from negative 4 to positive 22? Your distance from 0 to 22 is 22. Distance from 0 to negative 4 is 4. So how much change? How, much, how many uh, degrees did it go up from negative 4 to 22? Instead of subtracting 4, she should have added it, right? She can't just add the negative um, right away. So when you're t thinking about the temperature change, you need to think about the total change um, and not just use the integer right away as an addition. So, is she right or wrong? The answer is wrong. Where does she make mistake? Um, Sal subtracted to find a change in temperature. But she subtracted a positive 4 rather than Okay, so the total change in temperature was what? What was the total temperature uh, change from 7.30 a.m. until noon? So from the beginning, negative 4 to noon, 22 degrees. What is the correct uh, uh, temperature change? It should be... 4 plus 22, which is 26. So the total change in temperature was 26 degrees. Okay. Let's look at focus on math practices. 0 degrees Celsius is the temperature at which water freezes, which is colder. 10 degrees Celsius or negative 10 degrees Celsius? Explain. So would that be colder if it's a positive 10 or a negative 10? So looking at your temperature, a vertical number line, 0 is here. And anything that goes below 0 would be negative. So negative 10 would be here. And positive 10 would be here. This is the freezing point. It means if the numbers go below the freezing point, you you have a colder you have a colder uh, temperature, and then positive temperatures are warm above freezing. So zero is the freezing point. Okay. So which is colder? the negative. Okay. And 
And how could you explain it? Because 10 degrees Celsius is 10 degrees Celsius warmer than zero. Negative 10 degrees Celsius is 10 degrees colder than zero. So negative 10 is colder. Okay. There we go. All right, so um, in order to compare and understand integers um, in a temperature, you need a number line, and your number line could go vertically. Um, in other cases where it's not a temperature, your number line also exists. It could be a horizontal number line as well. So you do need to compare and contrast using the number line as we go, and that is uh, one of the best ways to explain um, explain which is the bigger, which is the smaller integer. So let's look at this essential question. What are the integers? What are integers, and how are they used to represent real world quantities? Start with example one. Define integers and opposites. The counting numbers, their opposites and zero, are integers. Numbers that are located on opposite sides of zero and are the same distance from zero on a number line are opposites. So we did go over this vocabulary before the topic started, right? So integers are all counting numbers, numbers that you could count. Okay, um, fractions are not counting numbers. So anything that has a fraction or a decimal um, would not be an integer. So all the positive whole numbers and zeros and the negative counting numbers are, are integers. And negatives and positives that have the same distance away from zero are called opposites. So if you see the same number, but they have different values, different signs, so positive and negative, six would be opposites because they're both six units away from zero. Okay. So, and also, uh, the opposite of zero is zero. Zero is neither positive or negative. So. They're called opposites, okay? Let's look at a thermometer here. A thermometer is like a vertical number line that uses integers to show temperatures measured in degrees. So six degrees is six degrees warmer than zero. Negative six is negative uh, six degrees colder than zero. Zero represents zero degrees Celsius. Um, and the opposite of the opposite of a number is the number itself. So the opposite of six is six. Opposite of six is negative six, right? And opposite of negative six is six. So the opposite of the opposite of a number is the number itself, right? This and this, they're the same thing. So for example, the opposite of six is negative six, and the opposite of negative six is six. So the opposite of six, which is negative six, and the opposite of that is six, okay? So if you have opposite of the opposite of a number, it's just itself. Let's look at try number one. Label the integers on the number line. The opposite of four is blank, label it. The opposite of negative four is blank. Okay, and where does zero go? See if you can label it. Come back when you're ready for answers. So where does zero go? Zero comes right between negative one and one. Okay, and negative five and five uh, are five units away from zero. So where is the opposite of four? The opposite of four is negative four and it's right here. The opposite of negative four is four. So the opposite of the opposite of four is four, okay? Convince me, how do you know that two numbers are opposites? How would you know? If we don't tell you they're opposites, how would you know they're the opposites? By definition, what are the opposites? They have the same distance away from zero, right? So how would you know? 
If they're the same distance away from zero, they're the opposites. So negative five and five, negative one and one, they're the opposites. Let's write that down. Okay, so the opposite numbers are on opposite sides of zero and are the same distance from zero on a number line. Okay, same distance on the number line from zero and they're on the opposite sides. So negative, positive, positive, negative, and the same uh, number, which is the same distance away from zero. Okay, now that we have learned what the opposites and the integers are, let's compare and order integers in the next example. Riley recorded the temperatures for five days in January. Which day was the coldest day of Riley's data? Which was the warmest day? Write the temperatures from least to greatest. So least is the smallest number. Greatest is the biggest number. So now she has one, two, three, four, five temperatures recorded from Monday through Friday. Which one is the coldest? Which one is the warmest? Let's put them on the number line to see them visually um, and order them, right? So Monday, negative five comes right here. Tuesday, negative two here. Positive four, negative three and positive one. And now we see them in order on the number line. Which way is the least? Which, which direction is uh, the greatest? So yeah, left side would be the least and the right side would be the greatest. So the more you go left, the, num the less the number gets. The more you go right, the greater the number gets. So negative five is the integer furthest to the left on the number line. So the so Monday, which is corresponding to that temperature, was the coldest day. Okay, and four degrees Fahrenheit is the integer farthest uh, to the right, and that was from Wednesday. So this is the warmest day. Okay, so make sure you connect the numbers with the days. The temperatures from least to greatest are negative five, negative three, negative two, one, and four degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you know how to list them in order. All right, let's look at try it. Which number is greater, negative four or negative two? Explain. See if you can explain, hint, hint, using the number line. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So which number is greater, negative four or negative two? Look at your number line. Which one is closer to zero? Negative two, right? Negative two is on the right side of negative four, which means negative four is smaller than negative two. So how would you explain that? In words. We can say that negative 2 is greater than negative 4 because it is to the right of negative 4 on the number line. Okay, because on the number line, uh, the number that is on the right is greater than the number that is on the left. Because the more right you go, uh, the greater your numbers get. The more left you go, the smaller your numbers get. All right, let's look at example three. Use integers to represent quantities. Integers describe many real world situations, including altitude, elevation, depth, temperature, and electrical charges. Zero represents a specific value in each situation. Which integer represents the sea level, the airplane, the whale? So the sea level here represents is represented by zero. An airplane is on the height of 10,000. And then whale is below the sea level, uh, about 10,000 as well, but it's below the sea level. So the altitude is the height. Elevation is also the height. 
um, but it's more elevation could be talking about the angles more. Okay, death is talking about how deep it is. Temperature, you know what temperatures are. Um, electrical charges, um, positive and negative neons, right? Um, you can you can use integers in a lot of different situations. But in this case, the sea level rep is represented by zero. The height above sea level is represented by positive numbers. And the height below sea level is represented by um, negative numbers. So let's look at try it. Which integer represents each situation? So write the integer in positive or negative integers that represents each situation for parts A, B, and C. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? Let's look at part A. A $10 debt. Do you know what a debt is? Debt is when you owe a money to a person or a bank, um, but the idea is that you need to pay that money back. Debt is something that you borrowed, but you're going to pay back. Okay, so a ten dollar debt would would be represented with a negative ten as an integer because you're talking about how much money you're gonna lose. Um, six degrees below zero. Below should be another hint. Below zero means you're gonna have a negative integer, right? Six. So negative six represents six degrees below zero. What about deposit of $25? Do you know what a deposit is? The opposite of deposit is withdrawal. Withdrawal is when you take your money out from your bank account. So it, it's a, represented by a negative number usually. Deposit is when you add money, okay? Money in. You put money into your bank account. So it's represented by a positive number. So positive 25 would be represented. All right, so your answers are negative 10, negative 6, and positive 25. All right, let's wrap up our lesson. So integers are all of the counting numbers. They're opposites and zero. Opposites are integers that are the same distance from zero and on the opposite side of zero on the number lines. So for example, negative seven and seven are opposites because they have the same distance, which is seven from zero, but they're on the opposite side of zero. So all the negative integers would be on one side, positive integer would be on the other side, okay? All right, that was lesson 2-1, understanding integers. Um, if you have any more questions, please ask us in, in the class. Um, otherwise, we'll continue with lesson 2, representing rational numbers on the number line in the next video. Bye, guys.